Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Spiral Stabilization UK channel. My name is Jana, and I hope you're ready today, guys, for your intermediate class. So today, <clears throat> let's see how many we've got. We don't have anybody here yet, so let's wait a few, few more minutes or just a minute for people to come down. I'll just readjust uh, my bands very quickly. Okay, so let's see how many people are going to join today. All right, so let's go ahead. We've got somebody alive. Welcome and good morning. So let's let's start with our intermediate lesson today. You will need our spiral stabilization mat, balance mat. What we're doing by using and introducing the mat into the exercises, we're progressing beginners exercises that we did on Monday in our lesson. And we'll start now placing a leg on the mat and doing your exercises with leg on the mat. Later on, we'll start stepping onto it in the advanced lesson. But we're using the spiral stabilization mat because it's got special density um, it's making you work harder so it will make your glutes abdominal muscles and the entire spiral chain work more it will make you contract your uh, spiral chains more and then on the other side you'll have much more effective relaxation and release of tightness in the vertical chains at the back of the body and also at the front of the body so let's take your bend and let's uh, let's start I will show you option that you can do um, without the mat because I'm aware of it that of course not everybody has our spiral stabilization mat. So for example when I'm on holiday and I don't have the mat with me I do the exercises without it. Um, so let me show you what we're going to do. Uh, stand in front of the mat but not too far away because that's going to make you arch your lower back which we don't want to compress the intervertebral discs more. So one leg on the floor just comfortably um, place the leg on the mat and now come down as you are used to, doing your regular exercise, rounding the back, hugging. Um, we keep in the leg on the keeping the leg on the mat straight, and the leg on the floor is bent. Inhaling here, and then long, long exhale up as as you are used to. Squeezing, tucking a little bit, pulling stomach in, and everything as usual. Breathe in, and then exhaling up the leg on the floor we know that we always keeping your feet parallel um, you can but it will be hard to balance so you can have the foot on the floor slightly turned out and pulling everything in now both legs straight so let's go one more Yes, my client. <laughs> well, thank you very much. My client just confirmed that she's in and everything's working correctly. Perfect. So I'm glad all functioning well, sound and everything. So now change legs. Go the other leg on the mat. Breathe in. And then exhaling up. Now both legs straight down and as you come up now because you're standing on one leg it's forcing you to contract the glutes abdominal muscles more than normally those if you find these hard or you can't balance you are not used to these exercises you can always stick to beginners level with both feet on the floor okay and those who don't have the exercise mat do exactly the same leg in front of you not too far, just lift it and let it drop naturally down and then up into contracting spiral chains down and then exhaling up. Okay, then you can do the same by switching the legs and you can perform these the whole way around like we'll do with the mat. Okay, now quarter turn, so we're facing each other and place now... Um, 
same leg on the mat. So if I've got left band on, uh, sorry, I have now my right band on, uh, I'm placing my right leg on the mat. Come down and let's go just a simple A exercise. I mentioned this in the beginner's class. If you have shoulder issues, shoulder problems, uh, limited range of motion, or you can lift your arm above the head, just stick to this exercise the whole time. There's no need to progress too quickly. It's better just to do few exercises and really nailing and focusing on the exercise technique. Now let's go one more. And now over the head, so go up, over, elbow in, glutes tight, abs tight, shoulder blades together. I can go maybe, no, a little bit further away from you so you can see me better. Okay, and down. So always long exhale, your arm behind the head, elbow in and not behind the body, palm facing up, bringing shoulder blades together. One more. And now quarter turn, so mat in front of you. Um, let me uh, just place one leg on the mat. I'll try to position it so you can see me better. Yep. Okay, now it doesn't matter which leg on the mat because we'll, we'll alternate and now come into waiter, so just hug and then open. So all exercises with the mat, we just go in a rounded mat is always in front of you and one leg, one leg on the mat. If you can't do waiter here because you have limited range of motion or you're too tight in your chest, then stick to the A exercise that we did before, okay? So you can just go hugging here and then open into this exercise. Now one more. And change legs. Same on the other side, hug and open and again don't stand too close to your mat just a good small distance away from it up and here careful not to rotate the hips always your hips are leveled yep so make sure one hip is not higher than the other hips are always leveled and always facing facing forward and you know you've done spiral stabilization before, so we, you know that we're not going forward, that we're always respecting the shoulder above the hip here um, to open the segments and decompress the intervertebral discs and actively relax the vertical chains. Let's do one more. And now after your last repetition, change legs again. Here everybody's favorite circles. So one leg on, arms go up. Now shoulder blades down, head goes first, bend the knee and then glutes tight, abs tight on the way down. Breathe in, head, exhale. Down, glutes tight, abs pulled in and exhaling on the way down. One more. And now change legs. And down. So between roughly five and 10 repetitions when you do your exercises at home. Let's do one more. Great. And now quarter turn. So you can, um, you can fa you're facing me away from you. So I'm, I'm away from you now. One leg forward. And if I'm going with my left arm to the side, I've got my left leg on the mat. Down, relaxing. And now 
up into A, into the same position like we did before. Just a very basic exercise. But add the other arm with it and then engage. It's helping you to engage shoulder blades together. Double check. Yes, you can see everything well. So very small inhale. So your neck muscles are relaxed. If you do big inhale, then the neck muscles tighten. So we, we want to prevent that. So small inhale and long exhale, elongating upwards when you come up here. Now over the head into waiter. So over, elbow in, palm facing up. And glues really tight, abs pulled in. Just a reminder again to put some music on. <sighs> Let's do one more. And after this one, quarter turn. So you're back at the beginning where, where you started. Okay, one leg on the mat and just come down. Now up and very gently with your head, just go up and down and side to side, not even full range of motion, just very limited small movement, just to relax, release the neck muscles. One more. And now change legs, same on the other side. Here come down, up, glutes engaged, abs engaged and head just gently up and down, side to side. And one more. Okay, now let's go, let's go kneeling. So uh, use your exercise mat to kneel on. If you don't have this mat and you exercise without it, get a yoga mat or anything else um, or cushion, something comfortable and soft you can kneel on. Now we're kneeling sideways to your exercise band attachment. Leg out in the direction of your, of your band. Here, we said uh, in the last session, don't go over, but make sure that the leg is here nice and straight. Now turn your body towards the bend attachment and we'll go very small stretch down, pointing towards the knee. And last time in the beginner's class, we did this exercise. So use, if you're starting, stick to this one. If you want to progress the exercise, go up with the arm, over the body, both elbows in, look at your band and you can just go gently nodding down and same again, down, breathe in, over, glutes really tight, now especially the right side, bum side, stomach pulled in, you might feel the stretch here in the front of the hips if you're very tight, now we're stretching the back of the neck, and on the way down, we're stretching back of the leg, muscles along the spine, lower back as well. QL, quadratus lumborum muscle. And one more here. So guys, carry on, especially those who have disc herniation, degenerative disc degeneration or degenerative disc disease, slip disc, sciatica. Keep going and stick to only this exercise. Those who want to stretch a little bit more, you can go a bit deeper, up and over. So if you're not in pain, you're fine. You can stretch a bit more and go a little bit deeper. Okay, let's do last one. And then same exercise we'll perform on the other side. So change 
change side, same here, leg, you kneeling sideways to your band, this one in the direction of the band, straight leg here, small movement down, left arm now over the head, both elbows in, looking at the band and nodding down. Glutes contracted, abs pulled in. Down. Okay. And now if you want to stretch a little bit more, and go deeper, all the way down, up. And then for those, we didn't do it on the other side, but that's just an inspiration. If you do the exercises at home, you can go, if you don't have back pain, you're all fine. You can go all the way down to stretch the back of the leg, okay? So that's what you can add to your exercise routine. If you find all the way down, up, and then into waiter. Okay, now that's our kneeling exercise. Now stand up. And uh, you keep only one band on, so I think I'll, I'll keep the left one so you can see me when I'm turning around. The, you don't need the exercise mat now. And on Monday in the beginner's class we did single arm exercises when we again doing the entire round. So we'll do the same today, but we'll build it up from, from those exercises. So go into single arm A into this position. Okay, um, and if you want to build up on, on top of these exercises, make them harder, intermediate level, then just peel your heel off and make sure you're contracting glutes on the leg that you're standing on. Now relax, come up, glutes tight and peeling the other heel off. So we're alternating legs down. As you exhale, glutes tight, abs tight and lift. If you don't have problems with balance, you can lift the entire foot. So just lift the whole leg of the floor. If you're not confident here that, and you're not ready for it, then just keep lifting the heel off the floor, okay? So what this does is that we loading one leg so you have, again, stronger activity in the entire spiral chain. Glutes are working harder, stomach in, and make sure that you're not lifting the knee unless you contracted the glutes because contraction of the glutes and the arm being there. So glutes and shoulder blade activation, contract the chain and uh, stabilize the entire body. So always glutes tight before you lift the knee. Now quarter turn and do this exercise arm over just into 45 degrees and same thing like the previous one lift either the heel or the foot of the floor up lift and you're alternating as you go up exhale and up glutes tight abs tight and these exercises are fantastic for building foot arch. So if you have flat feet or bunions, halus valgus, these exercises are brilliant for that. Um, because being on one foot and engaging the entire chain helps you to lift the foot arch, strengthen it, and also to bring the big toe into its natural straight position. Okay, now quarter turn, so you're facing away from your band. Here we do single arm circles, so arm goes up and now down. As I go down, now I'm lifting the heel off. And again, glutes engaged, abs engaged. As I go down, I lift the other heel off or you can lift the whole foot. And exhaling down. And here, make sure you're using, rather than the hip to lift the leg, you're using your lower abdominal muscles, okay? Exhale, one more. Now quarter turn, and you're bringing the arm towards, um, towards your 
Let's go this one today. So up above. So relax here. Go glutes engaged, abs engaged, up above the head. And here you're lifting the leg and down. If this one is too difficult for you, you have limited range of motion or you have too much tightness in that area, just come down into your, into your chest here. So you can relax being upright and now that's the active position. With every exercise we elongating upwards, stretching upwards. Or you can do this one. Last one, when you finished here, quarter turn and then switch hands and single arm here on the other side and lift down and lift. So remember, don't try to push it too much. If you wobbly here, do stick to just raising the heel of the floor and you build it up over time. And by doing the exercises, you'll strengthen the spiral chains, the weakness in the body and the body will be much more stable. Okay, now quarter turn. So we're facing each other and over with the arm into 45 degrees here. I'll go back so you can see me and lift the leg. And traction upwards. Every single exercise needs that element of elongation. So entire spine is elongated upwards and chin in and you're trying to elongate the neck. Mm -hmm. One more. Quarter ten from here and you're ready for your circles. So up and down, either heel or the entire foot of the floor. You see now I didn't contract my glutes <laughs> and I lost balance. So really engage the bum and then that stabilizes the whole body and down and we alternating legs because each spiral chain has connection to a different foot so that's why you're alternating legs just to work the entire the entire body one more from their quarter turn and do do the rooster exercise hand up above the head elbow back if it's too hard for you just stick to having the arm here in front of your chest all right so be upright here you don't have to bend the knees upright but being relaxed and now the active position above the head lifting the heel or the foot of the floor I haven't mentioned it before, but by doing these exercises, we're also working pelvic floor muscles, which is very good because all the chains, some of the chains run through the pelvis. So you've got total body exercise. Right, now one more. Okay, quarter turn, we back where we started. Now put both bands on your feet. And let's do, let's do leg exercises. Okay. So bends on your feet, um, get your poles, trekking poles, skiing poles, whatever uh, sticks you find at home, even a mop or a broomstick, <laughs> whatever you find. Now use it as a support, hold it around um, right angle or just slightly below. And we'll do only simple exercise facing forward today. So lifting the leg, foot down, as we said before, glutes really tight, stomach pulled in, shoulder blades together. And you can add, if you've done the exercises, add 
one arm to go with the stick. Hold the sticks close to your little toe so the pole takes your arm into the right movement. Let me actually show you uh, the other side so you can see it better. It doesn't, doesn't matter which side you're doing. Here, careful not to go into internal rotation with the shoulder, but hold the stick with all fingers or little finger on the stick and then shoulder always goes down and back to activate your shoulder blade. It's opposite leg, opposite leg, opposite stick or pole. Breathe in, foot down, knee slightly bent, glutes tight, abs tight and tractioning upwards. And to progress, you can do both arms just still facing forward, not rotating anywhere. That we'll do in the advanced class on Friday. So both arms, if you find it very hard with both, don't worry and just stick to only using one arm, okay? You will build it up gradually as you practice the exercises. So inhale here and then foot down, glutes tight, abs tight and elongation upwards. You can use the toes here to push off to go up. One more and then we're swapping side. Okay, lift the leg, foot down, glutes tight, abs pulled in, careful you're not arching, so do tuck your bum under here and elongate, chin in and long neck. Careful here that you're not leaning on the leg behind you and you're not leaning back, so completely upright. Um, standing leg is straight, the left leg here is just resting there and it's helping you to tuck under and, and to contract the glutes. So one arm with the leg only, if you want to do both, then at the other arm as well. And always a little bit slow down at the end of each motion, end of each movement, and then just focus on the tractioning upwards and stretching up. Great. So at home, 10 repetitions of each exercise. Careful not to rotate the hips. So the hips are always facing forward. Couple more. Okay. Now put the poles away and put your bands on. So bands on your hands again. And let's do and let's do kneeling exercises. So grab your mat again, whatever mat you have, or our spiral stabilization balance mat. Come kneeling down and one leg forward. I'll start with my left forward so you can see me because I'll be turning towards you. So I'll start with my left forward um, so you can, you can see what I'm doing and I'm facing you so it's easier. Um, we did in beginner's class this exercise when you have both legs on the floor. If this one is too hard for you and it's too challenging, you can't balance or it's putting too much pressure on your knee, stick to this option when one knee goes a little bit back, so you're still stretching the hips, but you're on both knees so you're a bit more stable and it's easier, easier option, okay? So stick to that one or we have one leg forward, 90-90. Now hug down, glutes engaged now, stomach pulled in, tractioning upwards and you can go and stretch a little bit hips forward but without arching your lower back, okay? I can go forward because I can stretch more but if you've got very limited hip flexibility rather than going forward focus on squeezing the glutes a lot and then staying here at 90-90 uh, because that will stretch the hips much more and it's more effective. So the more you squeeze the bum, um, more you're stretching the muscles on the opposite side, hip flexor and the front of the hips, <sighs> change legs and now swap. Same on the other leg. So kneeling on both, 90-90 in both knees, cross the arms, hug here, open, glutes tight, abs tight and tractioning upwards and what um, helps you is to a little bit push off that foot and the knee to go up to give you a little bit more of a stretch and it will be a bit more a bit more intense. 
Okay, hips again, check your hips that you're not rotating the hips, that they are leveled. One hip is not um, much higher than the other. And now we're doing quarter turn. So my right knee is going to go down, quarter turn, left knee forward, and now we're seeing each other. And we'll do same stretch, 90-90, but just your arm is going over the head into waiter. If this is too hard and you've been doing A exercise, then stick to doing this exercise here, all right? Um, you should have your um, legs hip width apart. If you can't balance, you can have the legs slightly out, but hip width apart. Careful not to lift the hip too high, so have the hips leveled over and then stretching again, glutes engaged, stomach engaged. And after you've done a few repetitions, change legs. So same on the other side, still facing the same direction. Relax here, over, glutes engaged on the side that you're kneeling on, abs pulled in and tractioning up. I can't see how many are, how many are live. Okay, great. Let's go um, <clears throat> one more. Excellent. Now again, quarter turn, knee down, knee forward. Always relax the foot um, behind you. Hack down, open, and same stretch, facing your bands down. So this way you get more repetitions in. You stretch the hips more, especially when we're sedentary too much. Everybody working from home. We don't move that much as we used to these days. So it's good to really stretch the hips on both sides. Do more repetitions than you are used to. Now change legs, same direction. Hug and open. Down, glutes abs tight. Great, couple more. Again, up, 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 tractioning upwards. Up first, and then you can go a little bit forward. Now, quarter turn, and last side. So I'm sideways again. Down, relax here. Glutes engaged, abs engaged, elbow in, arm behind the body, and stretch the hips. Remember, always try and focus on tractioning upwards first and then you can go a little bit forward. The stretch will be more effective. When you complete this repetition, change knees and we'll do the same on the other side. Same direction and just changing legs. Over. Relax down. Up traction and then stretch the hip. Last one. Excellent. If you did quarter, another quarter turn, you would be back where you started. You can always at home do extra repetitions um, in this direction. Now stand up. Uh, have your mat in front of you. If you don't have the mat, like we said, just place leg in front. Now one leg forward and let's just do a few circles to finish off. They're always good to do them right at the end, just to stretch the back, down, and swap. And by having a leg on the mat, you're always stretching the <clears throat> tightness in the back much more, including the back of the legs. Last one. Well done. Okay, you can take your bands off. Just over half an hour workout done, excellent. 
and I hope you enjoyed it. At least it made you <laughs> it made you exercise uh, rather than not uh, not convincing yourself to exercise at home. So at least we can do it together. Thank you for being here again. Thank you for watching. Uh, we've got oh wow five people live. Excellent, perfect. So I hope you find it beneficial today, and I'll see you on Friday for advanced lesson here on YouTube. Uh, Friday we have advanced lesson, but. All lessons, all levels welcome. So even beginners, intermediate, come to advanced class. I'll explain how you can uh, make the exercises easier so you can still join. Tomorrow we are live 10 a.m. London time on Instagram. And then we will probably take a break from live classes next week. But the week after I'll do a package of six sessions, package for two weeks. Um, but I'll be in touch with all the details later. So I'll see you back here on Friday. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and see you soon, guys. Thank you for being here. Bye. Bye-bye.